Hi guys, um, back with another um, video. Um, to do this uh, for the National League. Um, we're nearly to next season. Um, next season. Uh, I know with the National League soon arriving in 2023. We I'll be uploading it by tonight or the twenty sixth um of December um for this vlog um like predictions and all that for the twenty two twenty three season of the Vanarama National League. Um I wrote all the thing all the like left of it where the table will finish the National League 2022-23 season to see um to see who where the team's going to finish and all that and um I I thought to myself uh, I'll write it down at, on my pad I got it right down here and i will uh, now i'm start w starting with bot starting bottom to the first place so my uh the four who's gonna finish in the bottom four i start with number 24 it's got big eight head they're not doing well they're still in the relegating zone but I'll put him 24th, yeah, uh, with Mike Williamson's team, um, player manager side. Uh, I'll say Gateshead to be bottom. I want them, I was going to put him 20th, and then I thought, oh, I'll change it. Um, I thought, uh, I'll change him anyway. Um, now, um, 23rd. Mainstone United. Um Mainstone. Um they're in a I think they're in a relegate zone, I don't know. But I haven't uh checked it I checked the um league on my phone and um I'll say Mainstone in twenty third because they need to progress but if they don't progress they go like naturally north or south. Oh, they'd be going in the south because they're south, south of England. So next one is um, Toki United. Um, Toki, um, they're a good side because um, I'm seeing them play at the race course where I go and watch Wrexham. Um, they lost six 0 against Wrexham before. Um, I am um, wrote it down proper about the teams and all that all 24 teams but lost 6 all against the uh, Wrexham um, in um, on the 24th of September but if they can do it uh, get a little bit of nudge getting up from the table they can and that so that's mine for Toki um, Skunk off they're having no problems and all that. I seen it. Uh, they were they're bottom of the league, but I got my predictions. If they can, they go like twenty first. I know these. I know Scott Goff or some of these teams fans will hate me about this on the twenty fourth. Um, on this. Um. Um. Next, next one in now, like, like going up, like twenty to uh twentieth, uh, and up to eighth is start with twentieth is Oldham Athletic above the relegation zone. Um, they were in. I seen it. They are in the relegation zone. They need to come out. I want them. Because I know they used to be the former Premier League side, um, the Greater Manchester. Ooh. 
can't say it now, Great Manchester side. I want them to stay in the National League. They're not going down to National League North. And then I got in 19th, I got Aldershot Town. I know Aldershot played Wrexham before. Um, I'm just having a look at the fixtures in front of me. Um, played them on the 19th and look they lost 2-0 against us um i think keeping them in the mid below table with uh, three places in to the relegation zone next one is yeovil town yeovil are doing good but they couldn't play um against Wrexham. Uh, I don't know when, uh, 17th, because of Wrexham having gone far, and then that game got postponed, so, uh, they were, um, they were, no, no not Yeovil, uh, where's, Yeovil, 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 I don't know when, just have a look, um, um, I don't know when Yovo was on the road. Oh, um, Wrexham was supposed to be having Yovo on, um, on the 17th of January next year, but that being rearranged to the 7th of Feb. If, um, yeah, um, yeah, Yovo, yeah, they're getting good performance now. Um, but put them in um, 18th. Maidenhead United. Maidenhead. Um, uh, Alan Devish's side. Um, I, I don't know why I put. Um, I, I'm keeping them where 17th. I know they're 17th now. I want to keep them at 17th. And um, I thought, yeah, why not? Um, next one, 16th is. Oldham, Oldham. Did I say Oldham? No, I was saying, yep, Oldham in sixteenth place. Um, yeah, for Oldham sixteenth. Um, yeah, uh, Oldham are good, doing good. Barnwood. Um, I thought I was uh, going to put Barnwood like seventh, but I thought uh, Luke Jarrett side uh, like mid table somewhere and all that. Next one, Eastley. Yeah, I don't talk about like Eastley and all that. Um, some of them I don't know quite well sometimes. So, um, let's bring this over here. Um, next one is York York City. I know York City years ago. Um, when a couple times watching Wrexham and York York City, they do, uh, did formerly. League Two side, the um, former National League North side, and yeah, um, yeah. Next one, Dagenham and Redbridge. Yeah, former League Two side, and yeah, I think they were League One as well. Uh, yeah, they're gonna put themselves position as well. Dolkin newcomers for the National League and I thought put them up to 11th because they're owned by one person uh, owned and managed by one person uh, Willstone yep Willstone I put them 10th to keep them in the National League um, because I like Willstone as well because People know the Willstone Raider. Um, have a fact, I put them ninth. Uh, yep, ninth. Uh, we got like good stadium of them. Bromley, I put them uh, outside the playoffs, like Wrexham did last season. Um, now, uh, uh, the playoff qualification, uh, qualifinals, quarter to seven now. Um, I 
in the seventh place, I put Zoe Home Wall. I want them to like be for position for the playoffs or put for the quarter finals. I put Woken because they're doing good as well. Um South Lem, South um SF side, um I put them um in fifth. Um in fourth I put Barney. I know um the game against Barney, Braxton from Barney, um uh, had a seven five seven five thriller, it'd be a eleven goal thriller, I think. Um yeah, I put them fourth. Now for the um play for the National League playoff semi finals, second and third. I put Chesterfield in third because they're third already. Um, I know first and second they both with Wrexham North County. I put in uh, now second place. Second place now is sorry about this. Um, North County. I put North County in second place. In for the playoff semi final, um, I know they're a really, really good side to play, um, good side to um, where uh, to watch. I've never seen them play yet against Wrexham yet. Um, now first place, first place, and I support as well is Wrexham, um. I want Wrexham to be back where they belong. Um, they haven't been in um, the League Two. I know Wrexham used to be in League One. They got relegated, and then they got relegated after two thousand seven, two thousand eight season. They've been in the National League now for fourteen years. I want them to uh, like like fourteen years absence or fifteen years. I don't know. Um, yeah, I want Wrexham to be back in the fo- um, English Football League too because of the money, the new owners, the new cop that I uh, um, that they're going to have, the money and all that, players, like the top scorer, put Formal in, we got Oli Palmer, we got new players coming in, like Defenders, goalkeeper, like goalkeepers, like um, who's injured? Some players are injured, and I thought I'd do it that way. And that's my prediction for the end of the season, uh, on the twenty ninth. And that's all finished. I want that's my predictions for the twenty twenty two twenty three season of the Van Rama National League, and. Next time, uh, in uh, probably will be in January or j- mid January next year. I will upload uh, a prediction for the uh, oh, EFL League Two. I'm going all the way up to like doing like mid. January for the National League, um, for League 2, and then League 1 in Feb, League, the Championship um, in March, and then April, the last one, Premier League, and then I'll see if I can do that. So, if you want to like this or dislike this, subscribe to my channel and get us up to 200 subscribers and i will see you next year see ya